Let's make fresh fruit roll-ups. In a food processor, I'm adding strawberries, leftover pineapples, and I'm cutting up a mango. I like to use a spoon to scoop out the flesh. Once you add all of your ingredients to the food processor, you're just going to puree everything until it looks a little like this. Here I'm using a silicone mat. You can use wax paper if you like. I prefer a silicone mat because it's easy to clean and I can keep reusing them. The objective here is to spread out the puree as thinly as you can. If you have extras, just pour it onto a second mat or wax paper. And here I'm going to show you that you can also shake it to evenly distribute it. I'm using the Excalibur dehydrator and the temperature is set at 150 degrees. This took anywhere from 6 to 8 hours and this is what the final product will look like. Give your fruit leather a chance to cool down and then peel it off the mat or wax paper. As you can see, I can handle the fruit leather very well because it's nice and firm. So the next step you're gonna do is you're gonna roll it into a cylinder and then you're gonna cut it in half. If you have any string, you can tie your fruit leather if you want, but this is a perfect treat for the kids. There you have it, our first flavor is done. Strawberry, pineapple, mango. On to the next flavor. Here I'm cutting off both ends of the watermelon and then I'm gonna shave off all of the sides and you want it to look as clean as a baby's bottom. I always enjoy cutting watermelon because it gives me a chance to practice and refine my knife skills. Here you want to dice up the watermelon so you can fit it into the food processor. Transfer the other half of the watermelon into the container because you're going to need it later. This part was experimental. I decided to add some dates. Just make sure if you do use dates, you pit them because you don't want to damage your food processor. Once you've pitted all of your dates, you're going to add them to the food processor and you're going to give it a few pulses. I also went another step and added some chia seeds. I just felt like experimenting more. Add the remaining watermelon and pulse again. The food processor did not puree this the way I wanted it to, so I added it to the blender and then I put it back into the food processor and this is what the final product looks like. We're going to do the same thing we did in the first recipe. We're going to pour the liquid onto the silicone mat or wax paper. We're gonna make sure that it's spread evenly then we're going to add it into the dehydrator at 150 degrees, anywhere from six to eight hours. This is what the final product looks like. You already know what to do.
I've had these frozen blueberries for a long time and I wanted to utilize them. I'm just gonna add some water. I'm gonna add them to the blender with the banana. And I also experimented with using hemp seeds. I think that the blender is a better option for when you wanna make fruit roll-ups because the consistency is really good. I am repeating the process as I did with the first two flavors. Feel free to cut these up any way that you like. If you haven't already, please hit the like and subscribe button, leave a comment, and I want to thank you very much for watching. See you in the next video.